Thank you, uh, Senior Yusek uh, Carlito Galvez, Jr. The uh, chairman, please, please uh, be seated. The uh, chairman and CEO, Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association Incorporated, Ambassador Vidal Querol. Secretary Ed Año, the National Security Advisor. General Andy Centino, Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. The Superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy, Lieutenant General Ruben Estolentino. And our uh, oldest alumni, the class of 1963. Allow me to acknowledge Cavalier Amori Evangelista. Host classes, other alumni, and their respected families. The Cadet Corps of the Armed Forces of the Philippines awardees, and other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasant day to you all. It is my pleasure to join you in today's homecoming as we celebrate the long and illustrious history of the Philippine Military Academy. It is an honor to be surrounded by the alumni of the PMA, an institution that has been a pillar of stability and significant part of every part of our country's history. Since its establishment in the 1930s, the PMA has produced selfless individuals who have offered their lives to defend this country and preserve the democratic ideals and freedoms that we all enjoy today. I am filled with gratitude, as is the nation, for your contributions to the collective effort to build our beloved Philippines. In honor of those who have sacrificed their lives to build this path for us, we will continue to develop this country and aspire for better lives for our people. In the past seven months, we have been working hard to steer the country to a high growth trajectory. The current operating environment is uncertain and grows increasingly complex. As we continue to develop our internal resources, we must pursue a path of prosperity that contributes to goals shared with the international community. We have cemented our bilateral relations with our allies, with our partners, with our friends. And as we work on translating these investments into material benefits for our people, we must ensure that we continue to preserve the security and the safety of our nation. The country has seen heightened geopolitical tensions that do not conform to our ideals of peace and threaten the security and stability of the country, of the region, and of the world. This country will not lose one inch of its territory. We will continue to uphold. We will continue to uphold our territorial integrity and sovereignty in accordance with our constitution and with international law. We will work with our neighbors to secure the safety and security of our peoples. I am aware that some of you have continued your service in the private sector, while others have remained in government. And I hope in whatever capacity you serve, you continue to lead a life of service beyond self, an ethos we can attribute to a premier institution such as the Philippine Military Academy. As you celebrate the accomplishments of the PMA, I would like to congratulate this year's awardees for your exemplary performance of your respective duties. Let that exemplary work be emulated and ignite a desire for service in our young cadets. Inspire them once more to become leaders of character Stay true to the ideals and values such as integrity, service before self, and professionalism that you have gained from the academy that everyone should innately possess as public servants. Rest assured that this government, together with the Filipino people, are with you as we march forward towards achieving a safer, more peaceful, more progressive Philippines. 
Once again, my warmest greetings to the alumni and congratulations to the awardees. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang PMA. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President.